Uh, my name is Eric Gilliard. Uh, I'm a local artist here in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm doing the cover for Folio Weekly. I got involved with Folio Weekly. Uh, I met somebody that uh, asked me if I, well, were we were talking about art, and, and he asked me if I had ever done commercial art. Yeah, uh, things that influenced me are, uh, you know, all of Riverside, San Marco, definitely. Um, again, downtown. Another one of my influences is my father, which he was a, a billboard painter here for Nagley. It was outdoor advertising, or Lamarty at the time. I think it's been a clear channel now. Uh, he's, he was a billboard painter. He did like two a week. It was giant billboards, on, and they were all done by oil paintings. And uh, uh, he's definitely an influence of mine. I, I go through all kinds of magazines. I use these images. Um, and they have to be the right ones. It depends on uh, the quality of the ink or the. In uh, a, a certain time when they were making like Life magazines and uh, Home Garden magazines, uh, they made a certain style of ink, and then I, I try to look for that, and it caters to the uh, the, the collages that I do. Uh, what, what do you focus on? Uh, I, I use a lot of uh, faces and eyes coming out. I think it's about, you know, again, like going back to this, like using, uh, thinking about souls and, and being a part of nature and being a part of uh, uh, everything around you and focusing in on everything around you. And it's definitely like a puzzle piece. Uh, I mean, I could search for hours, you know, and looking for certain imagery that just do, does not go together, just doesn't match. And um, it takes a while, it definitely does. Uh, each piece is, uh, could take you know up to a week or so to, to create. Uh, in 2010, I did a piece for Folio Weekly, which was the Bite by Bite issue, and I've uh, been recently asked to do the 2011 for a March issue, Bite by Bite. Um, I use a lot of uh, you know from uh, little stencils uh, or from uh, exacto knives. Uh, this glue, which is like a, a matte gel medium that I use to, to like any other like hodgepodge or anything like that becomes like a, a crafty sense, you know, and I try to stay in that uh, fine art. Uh, these are like some Polaroids that I do. Uh, these are all done, hand done. I'll take the image with the Polaroid, which they stopped making 600 film. And uh, I'll go inside and take them apart and go back in and do collage work behind them and uh, they become a piece themselves. And this is a piece that I've started, it's not finished yet, it still has a lot to do, I have to, lot to go back in through here and put like little details. Uh, I started this you know, a couple days ago and uh, this is just like the evolution of one of the pieces. So I'll take old, like old paintings and appropriate them a lot of times and I'll do collage work with them, like old cheesy boat paintings from the 70s or something, yeah. Uh, my grandfather and I made a collage out of him and I guess he was in World War II. Yeah, that's that's something that uh, is in the process of being made or just being pulled with. I might tear it all apart, so I don't know, it depends.